Bomi and I'm back in the kitchen with another recipe and the guest who is off camera. Hi! <laughs> My cousin came down for a visit so we decided to do a cooking video together. So she's going to guide me along here because this is her recipe and this is a homemade hamburger soup which is a good thing to have soup because it's kind of cold out and zupa. Zupa. And, and, and check it out New apron. Happy Halloween! <laughs> okay, so let me run down the list of ingredients here. Prep time just to get started is going to be 15 minutes. Okay, we have carrots. Four. Four carrots. Four celery. Four celery. One. One onion. We also have red, green, and yellow pepper. One of each, I'm assuming. Five. Yep, five total. No, five potatoes. Five potatoes. <laughs> You're just getting ahead of me. Uh, we have some oregano, chili pepper, salt, pepper, parsley, and parsley. Uh, you're gonna need some minced garlic or three garlic or three garlic cloves. You're going to need some beef beef broth, say that fast five times. Um, also some tomato paste, you're going to need a couple teaspoons of that. And then you're going to need two cans of the diced tomato. And we got the one with, is the Italian style, it has basil, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Now, and then of course your hamburger, which is going to be a pound and a half of ground beef, okay? And one pot. For you people who like the one pot, here it is, because all of this is going into one pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> to get started, we're going to go ahead and start putting the ground beef in here. Heat up the pot for a second. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of spray on the bottom because sometimes the bottom too quickly and things start ticking. Sticking. Not ticking. Ticking like a time bomb. Okay. So, for all of you guys and girls out there that have kids and grandkids, I hope you have a fun, safe Halloween with them. With your trick-or-treating and various parties and whatnot. I can't believe it's end of October already. This the whole year I think has just been going really fast. At least it feels like for me. <clears throat> but it's kind of nice though because I've had a couple days off um, for you and I to get into trouble. No, <laughs> we don't get into any trouble. No, not at all. No, not at all. Just a little. When my dog has a fetish with the basement. I don't know. Maybe she's secretly hiding treats or bones down there or something. Let's go down there. Okay, anyways, I'm going to finish breaking up this ground beef. We're going to get this browned and then I'll be back with you in just a minute. But in with the ground beef, we're going to put our onion and our garlic. Cooking that with the brown? Yes. And the oh. celery. Well, see, okay, we're not, I, I lied. Ta-da! We're back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's running the show. <laughs> Certainly not me. You know, if, one more question. Is this your recipe or did you find this recipe and kind of make it your own version and putting a twist on it? I found, I found it uh -huh. and now I'm putting my own twist on it. I like recipes like that that are pretty simple that you can just, you know, kind of put your own twist on it. But you can put you can put all of this actually in a crock pot okay. all together in the morning, and then when you come home, it'll be done. Work, it's done. Okay. 
Now, what if for people who are just vegetarians? So you could do tofu. Okay. Uh, you could do, well, I guess that's really one of the other options, right? Yeah. Tofu I mean, vegetable. Yeah, or you can do it, I've made it with sausage. I've made it with ground turkey. Okay. Um, so instead of the ground beef, I would just put beans, like a lot of beans in it mm -hmm. for the protein, uh, with your tofu. And okay. then everything else, and obviously you're not going to get beef broth if you're vegetarian, but you could make your own, or right. it's flavorful enough you would just use a little bit of water. I see. And um, for people who are like me that have to kind of watch their sodium intake, they do make low sodium beef, you know, broths, chicken broths. Um, it's a little bit hard to find in the supermarket, but you can you can find it and you can use that. All right, so maybe goes the onion. Yeah, maybe not all of it, but about half. Mm -hmm. For now. Okay. Here big go. don't do your garlic. Okay, so we're going to take a big teaspoon of garlic. We're going to put that in there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all going in the pot. And your celery. And your celery. I'll be the cleanup lady today. Okay. <laughs> just all right, and then we're going to just kind of get this yeah, stir together until it's brown. So we're cooking on a beef until it's brown. All right. I am going to have to wash my hands here. Oh, uh, you're messy. Oh, the hamburger is a little bit on the greasy side. <clears throat> and where'd you find this recipe? Did you find it online or through a friend or? My mom makes it. Okay. Yeah. She actually makes hers with sausage. So. Now that you say that, I remember that. Yeah. So, like I said, you can make it with sausage. I've made it with sausage turkey, a mixture of all three of them. Um, I've done the vegetarian route as well. So. Okay. Yeah, but my mom makes hers with sausage. That's right. Now that you say that, I remember that. This is the first time I actually get to cook this. How crazy is that? Crazy, crazy. Now, what about the juice that you're getting from the hamburger? We can drain it. Okay. Or do you leave it in there for flavor? Um, you can, depending okay. on how much fat there is. There's, there's some, but there's not a, no, a lot. not a lot, eh? Yeah, it depends because we got the extra lean, so it just depends on um, the leanness, I guess, of your meat. Okay, how are we doing there? Are we almost done? Uh, it's almost brown, but I'm gonna take it off for a moment. Now I don't have an overhead camera, so I'm gonna try to take this off the stove from time to time, so you can see exactly what is all in here. So that's what it's gonna look like so far. And I'm just going to finish to brown the meat. And we should be done with that in a minute. Mm. And the whole cook time, once ever all the ingredients get in here, how, 15 how to 20 minutes. Okay. So really your soup will be ready in about a half an hour. Now, if you're going to do this in the crock pot and say you want to cook it all day, you're going to just leave that on uh, low? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then everything will cook. And how much soup is this going to make all together? Like, how many bowls of soup do you think that you can get out of uh, what we're making here today? Mm, depending on the size of the bowls, mm -hmm. you could probably get uh, six good size bowls. Like, okay. not as uh, an appetizer bowl of soup, but like an entree bowl of soup. Okay. Because we're Italian and we eat big bowls, <laughs> right? Right. It's so, like a meal size bowl for yeah. those of you that don't know. Mm hmm. Okay. Like a bowl this size, you'd probably get like eight okay. of them. Well, that's a good indication yeah. for everybody that's watching so they can kind of gauge for themselves. Okay, so right. is that looking okay? Do we have too much fat on there? Um, we can run it through a strainer if you want, really quick. Alright, I'm going to do that. Okay. But there's a lot of variations too, so in this, once you put everything in, um, you can still add your beans, your corn. Um, I've done it with uh, peas and corn and beans. Um, you can also even add in uh, the little pastini or the, the small pasta. 
pasta, the small Yeah, the small one. Small. I would just cook it separately because it will soap up a lot of the um, a lot of the uh, the moisture, okay. and then you end up more like a, a stew. Okay. So if so you, if you want to thicken it up, yeah, you want to add the pasta. Yeah, and mm -hmm. really not very much, maybe uh, a quarter cup of pasta. Okay. Yeah. I'm just draining this. You can't really totally see this off camera, which is okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rest of everything else in there. Okay. So now if there's things that people don't care for, like That's say right. if they don't care for the pepper or the yeah. onion, they can just bypass that Absolutely. or put something else in there that maybe is more to their liking. Yeah, for sure. So if you want to do yams instead of potatoes, do yams do that. instead of potatoes. Okay. Um, or sweet potatoes or whatever you guys call them here. Yeah, it's a sweet so, potato. Yeah. So if there's anything that you don't like or anything like you said, like you said, you want to add, mm -hmm. um, I've done it with corn, it's good with the corn, it's good with the beans. Um, you can zhuzh it any way you want it. Zhuzh it. I like that word. You can zhuzh it. it. Alright, so everything okay. else goes in. Alright, so now we've got carrots, and that was four carrots, cut. And then one one pepper, one, one pepper yeah. each. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's all going into the pot. Five potatoes. Five potatoes. And so you want 28 ounces of diced tomatoes or two fourteen. So either or. Okay. We'll get that in the pot. There's one, two. You want three cups of broth. So there's usually four in here. Okay. And I'm just going to reduce this heat a little bit here because I don't want anything to really start boiling. But you don't even have to use beef broth. I mean, you could use vegetable broth. Okay. I made it with vegetable broth, chicken broth. Okay, so this is matter. two cups. That's two cups there. Okay. And I'll get you the other one. So we have three cups of broth all together, peeps. There you go. All right. And you want three tablespoons of tomato paste, or you're going to do six of the teaspoons. Okay. So we got so one. Well, I'll count that as maybe a couple. <laughs> <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> is that good, or a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. Just the with the paste does it just brings out the flavor of okay. the beef a little bit more, and then um, the the seasonings. The seasonings. Okay. Put them in, and then salt and pepper to taste. So it okay. just depends on how salty or how peppery. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna put a lot of salt in it because I know no. it's already the, from the beef broth, mm -hmm. but we probably could use some pepper. Yeah, for sure. So you can see how thick it is. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pause. So we may need to add um, the other cup of broth. Okay. So and let me just show this uh, on the yep. camera really quick. So here's kind of what it's gonna look like when you have all your ingredients into the pot. And as you can tell, it's a little bit on the thick side. So we're gonna have to go ahead and add a little bit of extra broth. Um, the nice thing about soups is that you can kind of play around with the thickness of or, you know, how okay. thick you want it or it. how much liquid you want. Okay, so we're done with all the ingredients. Put the lid on it and let it come to a, a, a boil for uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so we kind of want to jack this up to a medium-high heat. And we will get a lid. And that's not the right one. Okay. and our soup is done and I'm going to take this off of the burner here. Stir it up a little 
it so you can kind of see. And if I can get this so that you can see, this is what's going to look like when it's done. Okay? It took about 18 minutes on my stove, medium high heat. And one other thing that I should point out to you too is if you don't want to take the time to chop up all of the vegetables, you can use the frozen. And if you want your soup to be thicker, less broth. If you want it to be thinner, thinner. just add a little water thinner. if you don't have any more broth. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and <laughs> your size ladle. And my little ladle, because <laughs> I can't find my big one. We're going to take some out of the pot here, put some into the bowl so that you can see what this looks like now that we got it done. Probably just serve it with like a little crusty bread, a little crustini. That looks all right. So it smells great. Here's what it's going to look like once it's done and boy is that hot right out of the pot. There we go. Okay. Now since KB is not here and he's on the phone and he's elsewhere, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little sample myself. Oh wait. Wait. Oh but let me do this first and then do <laughs> I was gonna cheers. You won't have to pee. Okay. I'll drink. I'm gonna get a little bit of hamburger, a little bit of celery, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of tomato. Kinda of wanna get a little bit of everything in this one bite just to see what this is gonna taste like. So here we go. Mm. Hot. Hot. <laughs> this is very good. Excuse me for talking with my muscle. It's very good, very, very easy to make, and it definitely will feed your family. Absolutely. Now, the only other thing that I'll make a note of is if you want to have the vegetables a little bit more on the softer side because that's what your palate prefers, <laughs> <laughs> you can keep the soup on the stove for a couple more minutes but our time was about 18 minutes yes all right so before I go I want to take a moment to say thank you to my good friend Jim his channel is Hornet Fixer knowing that I like wine I don't know if you can see this very well but this says New York Rangers on it I couldn't get my cousin to drink out of this because she said it was against her religion. <laughs> so cheers <laughs> and thank you, Jim. Mm. Delicious. Cooking with wine. <laughs> what other way to do it? <laughs> okay, that's the recipe for this week. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you'll give it a try. Looking forward to seeing everybody's comments. Everybody have a safe and happy Halloween. Also have a very good week ahead of yourself. Until then, this is Miss Bummy saying good night, good eats, wherever you are. And... Done! <laughs> oh, and one other thing. Thank you to Chris for giving me this recipe. <laughs> Now we're done. <laughs> Buon appetito. <laughs> you can turn that off now.